Definitely. Um, the emphasis in our city seems to be withholding information, uh, screening it, spinning it. We have an office, I am told, of nine in the communication office. Saanich has zero. You want answers in Saanich? You go to the department head. They'll tell you what the answers are. That's one of the action steps I have. We will put an end to the communications office. We will put the focus in this city on getting information out to the public in as unfiltered fashion as possible, in as user-friendly a fashion as possible. We will change the focus away from withholding information. In fact, I want to model my approach very much on, on uh, Governor Gregoire from Washington State because she, when she came to office a number of years ago, she took over from a previous Democrat. She's a Democrat. So it wasn't a political per se, but she said, we're going to change the focus. We're not going to be holding information back. We're going to be pushing it out. The default will be give it to the public. And that's the approach I want to take. And we're going to save money. There's a lot of money there. Nine people. Let's put it back into delivering parks and recreation, where the budget was cut 20% over the last three years. I think I mentioned that already. I can tell you about more cuts. You may not be aware the cuts are taking place, but believe me, they have been cutting. I'm sorry, I'm pounding away. My wife gets angry. She said, don't pound. <laughs> I'm emotional. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean it. We need to make changes. Thank you. Yeah, what Paul was saying there is very true. I mean, we live in a freedom or we live in an information age, but it seems odd that we can't get information out of our city hall. It's a public office run for the public good. You're the public. You should be able to find out any question you want and have, have access to that information. If two heads are better than one, then 64,000 heads are better than City Hall. Okay? Now, like I said, we fought for the Freedom of Information Act, but we still don't have it delivered to us. Right? There's hurdles. There's PR. An example, in the 70s, the Prime Minister or the Premier of BC had a secretary. Now they have over 200 secretaries in the Premier's office. They're the ones running the province. And the same thing's happening at City Hall. When they want to lead you somewhere where you don't want to go, they PR you into thinking you want to go there. And that's not a good situation for our democracy. It's not a good situation for our future. And it's taking us places where we don't want to go. We need to instill freedom of information. We need to have access to our public office, which is the Victoria City Hall. So with that in mind, vote Steve. <laughs> We want to make sure we have live streaming of council. That'll be the boringest TV show, but hey, for those that are interested, we want to move forward on that. We want posting searchable texts of uh, city council documents. We want to move forward on releasing everything that does not require to be kept confidentiality. We want to enhance our lines, and we've been continuing to work on that. But I want to put this forward, and it's funny. Uh, you know, he says, you know, the Sandwich doesn't have anyone. Nothing gets done unless Frank says it's okay in the Sandwich department. Nobody talks other than Frank. We have many people out there. Communications are important. I think that right now, um, that it is one of the central themes of basically of our society and our generation. People want to be able to participate. People want to participate and, and be part of the events and the processes that shape their lives. And it's important to put that information out. I want to say this, because I said to myself, what is that guy talking about, about 20% cuts? I mean, you talk to any community senate director, you talk anybody in Parks and Rec, there are no cuts. What is he talking about? So a citizen phoned up and said, what is he talking about? And the only thing that they could find was that under the accounting practices, that the $4 million that used to be in Parks and Recreation that pays for our public library, that the auditor said, move it out of Parks and Rec and put it over in general. So that's the only, only thing. And so it's no cut. The auditor just moved it to a different location. There have been no cuts to Parks and Rec. And I'll go through and give you the numbers. I got it posted anytime you want it. It's not true.